up, me little sugar boogers? Welcome back to the channel for a brand new mod review. I've been using Seriously Sims Complete Cooking Overhaul mod for a really long time now, and it just dawned on me today that I've never done any type of mod review on it, so obviously I'm your host, Nick Lachey, and we're gonna go ahead and do exactly that today. But first, I wanted to introduce you guys to the infamous, yes, 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 Agnes Crumplebottom. I created her a while back, so if you guys would like to download her, she is available on the gallery um, at Jen2606, and her humble abode was created by Sim Lissy. I do believe the name of this apartment is like Granny's Gamer Apartment or something along the lines. Um, I did add in like a little microwave and then a meat wall in a super duper hungry cow plant, which I'm pretty sure breaks the lease agreement. But honestly, like <laughs> who's got to know, you know, snitches get stitches and end up in ditches. But uh, we're going to dive straight on into the mod. I'm going to show you guys a couple ways that you can get your manitos on your groceries. The first way being um, is you can order over the phone. Now, once you've inserted this mod or installed it, that part just sounded really strange. So once you've installed the mod, um, you will now have a little menu that says shop for on your phone and you can buy drinks, you can buy fish, you can buy flowers and insects, groceries, veggies, herbs and fruit, and you can also um, order online over the computer as well. The only downfall to this would be that you actually have to wait till the next day to receive your groceries, but don't worry, there is another way to obtain your goods. So I wanted to show you guys here underneath the grocery category, all of the various items that you can purchase. Now, if you do have like like custom ingredients and custom recipes and things of that nature, they can also be integrated into this mod as well. But I only wanted to show you guys the mod for what it is and just kind of like how it works straight out the box. So as you guys can see, we have um, coffee beans, a bag of chicken nuggets, flour, marshmallow, sugar, a baker's dozen, which basically consists of all your baking essentials to be able to make like cupcakes and, you know, all, all the things. Uh, we also have a barista special, which which creates or contains the most unique blends. And then as we scroll down, we have like core ingredients like butter. Um, we also have like pasta, rice, a can of dough, candy corn, a candy worm, carton of orange juice, and all that jazz. Now, if you are a little concerned that you will need these ingredients to be able to cook and you're like, oh great, my sims are gonna starve because hello, that's expensive. But also maybe you just don't wanna go the extra mile and like, you know, do all this. You don't have to. I really do like the mod though because, or I really do like this method method of cooking because it feels a little more realistic, like a lot more realistic. And it's more of like an experience. It's super immersive. But again, like I mentioned, if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can still click on your refrigerator and create like some BLTs for 23 simoleons. Um, but the thing, I, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but you will notice that all of EA's recipes and even like the recipes that come with the um, what you might call it, uh, that come with like the expansions and stuff. They've all been overworked to like contain custom ingredients. Again, you don't necessarily have to do this. So for instance, garlic noodles will now need garlic, a box of pasta, any herb or any oil. Uh, garden salads, they will need a tomato, a carrot, any cheese, fish tacos, we need parsley, any fish, any vegetable. Uh, any cheese, you kind of, you kind of, you, you get the gist of where I'm going with this. So again, not required, not needed, um, but kind of fun just to add in a little extra shum shum. You know what I mean? Especially if your sim is like super into culinary arts, this is going to be absolutely incredible. Um, so if you wanted to get your goods right now, you're impatient, you want to go in person, um, there are three different stores that your, st your sim can visit. You can go to the Greenfield grocery store, you can go to the farmer's market, you can also go to Wickerman's fish market, which I'm assuming would only sell fish. I don't know. I haven't done this. Um, but I really want to get our groceries now, so I'm probably just going to go to the Greenfield grocery store, hoping that this is kind of like a catch-all and we can get any ingredient and every ingredient that we need there. 
your sim will walk off their home lot and enter a rabbit hole and be gone for approximately 30 minutes to an hour. Once they have completed that 30 minutes or an hour, they will be prompted with the buy groceries menu where you will obviously retrieve your items instantaneously. Something else I did notice is that there actually are supposed to be um, five shops in total but for whatever reason I my game's only displaying three not really sure why that is um but there's supposed to be like a flower shop and then a NYX at night occult shop where you can buy like plasma packs brooms and wands Again, not a complete deal breaker, but just something to mention. So I'm going to grab a few different things here. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we're going to grab like a, a couple like bags of flour. Um, I do have the microwave, so that's going to be absolutely incredible, super useful. We're going to grab some sugar. I do want to grab a couple of these like, well, just one baker's dozen just to see what is obviously in it. I'm going to grab some oil. Um, it would be very wise to check out the ingredients that you plan or not the ingredients, the recipes rather that you plan on making um, so that you can kind of get a general idea of what it is that that recipe is going to require. Uh, let me grab some pasta. I do need some herbs. You can also like filter things out too, by the way, if it makes it easier, which obviously it, it absolutely would. I just don't know if I can like purchase herbs through here. I have to go to like a different store I see that would be that would be like really annoying I'm just grabbing a few things honestly I'm not really like that great at cooking <laughs> so mm, we'll try it oh oh this is kind of cool you can underneath the star here um select a manager special oh I love that so maybe I should read the tabs off to you so here we have meat and dairy we've got baking uh, preserves drinks we have fizzer drinks, also tea and coffee, and then miscellaneous. So if you're not seeing something that you need, um, you can also purchase like um, like a sack of the essential items that you will need. I think that's about all that I want to grab. I think this is this is going to work. Okay, cool. So I ended up spending 238 simoleons and now all of my items that I purchased are in my inventory. So here's the catch. We're not done yet. You do need to actually open up the items. So I'm going to have Agnes go ahead and open up like um, a bag of flowers. So there we go. We have like four little flowers. Uh, I do believe we got to open up the box of butter, so on and so forth. But I think you guys are really going to get a kick out of this because when you uh, purchase your groceries, you'll now have to like place them somewhere. I mean, you can keep them in your inventory. This isn't required, but I do think it is like super duper cute to like have shelves and then place your items on the shelves. I love that so much. Like I thought this was like, uh oh, hold on. I'm definitely doing this wrong. Okay, there we go. I was using the, uh, <laughs> the wrong. Can you guys see? I'm sorry. I was using the wrong button to like line them up but yeah I, I'm just ooh, I'm so excited and now we have like this little box of cereal I wonder what this does I'm gonna place this right on the counter isn't that absolutely darling and then we have like our little olive oil uh what else did we get uh, we have a little frozen tv dinner that says microwaves in five minutes I love that there's like actual like descriptions here I wonder if you can place some of this stuff in your fridge I and also the fact that we have to like unload um the groceries is really exciting so I would probably like put my butter in here you probably also should unpack your items so, like let's open up the the baker's dozen and see what we end up getting um so we got like a carton of eggs we got some honey which i don't think honey needs to be refrigerated um so i'll put that there and then we have like a little a little milk carton oh my god Seriously, I don't even think I've ever played with this part of the mod before, but I'm really excited. Uh, here is the, we already showed you guys the bag of flour, right? Okay, we, like, there's more people in here. That's kind of crazy. Um, also, side note, last night, something spooky happened. Like, I swear to God, I had, like, that, that, that thing that happens to people where they're paralyzed and they can't move. Like, I'm not even kidding. I felt somebody tap me and start whispering in my ear. And the worst part is it was sounding, well, it sounded like my ex's voice. Like, <laughs> chills, okay? Um, anyway, just thought I'd add that in. Um, but yeah, the little eggs are super cute. I'm going to put those in there. I'm going to put the dough in here. We got some, you know, frozen pizza rolls. Uh, another another oil, because I thought, like, you couldn't, you could never have too much oil. Uh, here's a little bag of sugar. Oh, my God. I am obsessed. I am, like ridiculously obsessed isn't this like the cutest thing ever <gasps> and everything looks so damn official okay so before we start kind of like playing around oh, you can open the package of cereal how does that how does that work okay i'll play this in a second so before we start kind of like checking out the items and whatnot um i probably should put the little milk in the uh 
fridge here. I did want to show you another way that you guys can get groceries coming in on a more consistent basis. Uh, if you cook your computer, you will now have the ability to um, subscribe to a grocery subscription service. You're probably like, what do all these mean? Um, so for the Baker's Dozen, it basically consists of that package that you guys saw earlier or like uh, basically everything underneath the manager special, but this is like a, su a subscription. So it will have all of your essential baking items. Butcher's Block will have your essential meats. Drink Crate subscription will just basically provide you various drinks. Mealtime subscription um, has enough food to make um, uh, meals for about a household of four. Munchy Madness is a snack subscription. Plasma Night subscription is pretty self-explanatory. You get plasma. Um, and then Vegetarian Haven um, provides tofu, veggie, fruits, and herbs. So if you wanted to, you can subscribe to those as well. Now, Agnes really likes to bake uh so i kind of want her to go ahead um and subscribe to the baker's dozen uh subscription now i'm seeing i'm trying to see here if we have any type of uh moodlets from this mod not necessarily she's getting a lot of like um a lot of uh, cooking related moodlets just because obviously she's feeling really, really inspired. OK, so when you subscribe to a subscription, obviously you have the ability to start and stop a service. So we're going to go and have her start her grocery subscription service. This is the Baker's Do Dozen subscription box is filled with all your baking essentials for only $50 delivered weekly on Monday. So I'm kind of wondering if this is supposed to like carry you through the week, uh, but you know what we're gonna go ahead and subscribe agnes has successfully registered for the grocery subscription service and if you want to cancel it you guys already saw the option is right underneath um the uh enrollment option and then obviously jen here does not know what she's doing and uh, misplaced her bag of sugar um i wonder if the the items are okay yeah they're actually in here cool there's no uh what you might call it like expiration date and then um also on the the fridge if you guys have like custom recipes and um you know ingredients and harvestables and whatnot uh you will be able to click the make custom menu which obviously gives you guys a wide array of different options and then um underneath that you know and just kind of depending on what you have installed um you know you'll have obviously different options here so for instance she can make steak and eggs uh, she can make a biscuit <laughs> biscuits in biscuits in sausage gravy steak and potatoes and as you guys can see we have a couple of these ingredients needed and so the price gets slashed which is also really exciting but we still need to like you know have um butter so it'll charge us like five dollars for like a stick of butter which i think is kind of outrageous but you know what it is what it is okay so um, with this mod, you also can learn um, the recipes from the other lands, OK? And all you need to do to uh, do that is purchase some of the custom cookbooks. Now, earlier I did try to do this on the computer um, underneath, like order, you know, books or whatever. Didn't work. You do need to click your bookshelf. So I'm going to go ahead um, and have Agnes go and browse the cookbooks really quick here. Yeah, mm -hmm. so many choices. Which one will we purchase, Agnes? All right, so here are your options. You can purchase Batu Recipes, Cafeteria, Cultural, Experimental, Island, Jungle, Seafood, and Snowy. You're probably wondering, okay, cool, what the hell do these books even mean? Um, basically, if you hover over them, it'll tell you what they will teach you. So for instance, Cafeteria Recipes will teach you all of the quick and easy recipes from Brightchester. We have um, the Cultural Recipes, which will teach you the Cultural Recipes from uh, San Maishuno, but it says Man Maishuno, which I think is a typo. Just saying. Um, and then with the recent update, obviously, we have the recipes from Mount Como. I kind of want to try one of these out. And it's kind of interesting because some of these are like super duper expensive and other ones are quite affordable. Um, a part of me wants Mrs. Agnes to check out the uh, snowy recipe. Agnes has purchased a new cookbook. She can read her cookbook from her inventory to learn new recipes. Here is Agnes's brand new cookbook she's like where the hell did it go <laughs> i love how she's just like standing there like has no idea how this online thing works at all whatsoever it's been a major headache i'm not gonna lie to you though like i am literally living for this full kitchen right now it's so exciting 
Um, I do believe if you want these ingredients to count towards your count when it comes to like making certain things, you're going to have to like put them in your fridge. That obviously oh. kind of makes sense. But, you know, I also really like them um, kind of like splayed out here on the uh, on the countertop. I think that's really cute or on the shelves rather. Apparently, I, I have no freaking idea <laughs> um, what the hell I'm talking about. So ooh, we just got a notification. Agnes's Baker Dozen subscription box has been shipped. It will arrive in the mail soon. I was not expecting that at all. Um, I am wondering because I did see something on the, uh, what is it called? On the post or whatever. I am curious that if these items can be sold uh, individually at like a little grocery store and then your sim can go there and like purchase them like firsthand and then I think they might be able to be rung up at the the, the cash register or something along those lines. Now, I, I read something and that's why I'm going to post the link in the description so that you guys can go ahead and read about it too. Um, but if so... <gasps> So exciting, so exciting. Like, I'm not gonna lie though, let's just pause. The first time I ever saw this mod, I was so overwhelmed. I'm like, I'm never installing this. I'm never gonna look at it. It's probably why I never looked at all these little ingredients or whatever. I just wanted it for the next thing that I'm gonna show you. Um, but now that I've experienced it a little bit, I don't know what I was so afraid of. It is incredible, it's amazing, I'm so excited. It really adds something to the game. Okay, so the next two things that I wanted to share with you are the um, ability to now utilize, obviously, the cow plant. Wait a second, does this say Carol Baskin's hubby? Oh my God, I downloaded this off the gallery with no like inclination. <laughs> Oh my God, I love this person. Seriously, they get it. The humor, I love it. It's iconic. Um, but anyway, I'm going back to what I was gonna show you earlier. When you install this mod, um, you can harvest red meat, you can harvest poultry, you can harvest pork. You can also um, sell meat cubes, sell all, harvest Carol Baskin's hubby. <laughs> Oh my god, not cool, not cool at all. Um, and then, you know, all the typical things that you can do with this meat wall. So I'm going to actually see if I can harvest the red meat. Now, I do believe if you harvest this meat, you'll be able to actually use it in your... Um, in your recipes. So once you've done that, you're going to get a little slab of red meat. It says meat that is red when raw, for example, beef or lamb. Um, and then, you know, you can even do poultry or whatever. But obviously, I kind of like ran out. Um, if I want, I can sell it for four dollars or just drag it in my fridge. I'm hoping this will go towards a recipe, but you get the gist. You have more options here that you do not have without this mod, which I think is awesome. Um, but I did want to come in here and just see what it looks like to open up this package of cereal and just kind of putz around to check out the mod um, a little bit further because, you know, I think we got all the facts pretty much out of the way, I would say. Yeah, cool. Lots of stuff to check out. Super exciting stuff. So I was able to open that and then I do believe the uh, cup of cereal is going to now be in my inventory. Um, now, if I was to have a quick, have a microwave meal, um, oh, okay, so because we have the, the frozen TV dinner, um, it's zero dollars, and I do have some chicken nuggets, but I didn't open them, so let me do that really fast, okay, so we gotta open up the package of chicken nuggets, and now, if I was to go over here, and, um, have a quick meal, the chicken nuggets should hypothetically be free. Super exciting. I kind of want to make the microwave dinner. I did notice she was kind of getting a little hungry, but I'm hoping pretty soon here um, our little cow plant will yield um, some lechita that we'll be able to actually uh, use, or at least you'll be able to see what it looks like to, to milk them. And would you look at that? Agnes is enjoying her microwave dinner that <laughs> she bought for like literally five simoleons, and homeboy over here was trying to charge her 13 which obviously is a rip off i was looking really forward to showing you guys how to gather fresh milk from your cow plant but i'll just go ahead and tell you how to do it anyway because for whatever reason it's just not working in my game um so you need to wait until your cow plant is mature and offers you to eat the cake and once you've successfully eaten the cake you will now be prompted with a gather fresh milk interaction now obviously we all know the dangers when playing with the cow plant or you know 
know, attempting to eat that cake. It isn't a free gift. Your sim could potentially die, so just make sure that you save your game uh, before doing so. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.